Hi, my name is Kimberly Harwood from Zeeman Development. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the advanced features for Audit Trail Professional for the Razor's Edge. So first of all, we're going to take a look at our audit standards. What this allows you to do is apply a set of rules to your audit, which you set up in advance to clearly see any changes that are made on the database that break your rules of data entry or data changing. So first of all, let's set the rules up. If we click on the ZD logo, click on Advanced and Set Up Audit Standards. Now you can see here that I've got a few rules set up already and we'll go through those one by one and see what they do. In the left hand bar you can see the field areas available and if you open those up, all the fields available for you to set up a rule on. You can choose any of those when setting up your rules. So first of all, we've got our surname and capital case. That's pretty self-explanatory. We've chosen the rule here that the first letter should always be uppercase for the surname field. You can choose from any of these rules that we've set up for you, or you can create your own using regular expressions. If you're not familiar with regular expressions, click on this link, and that will take you to a very helpful web page to show you how to do that yourself. Now you can also choose an error message to display, and you can choose a background colour so it shows up clearly in the audit. Okay. Our second rule is making sure that any email address entered is a valid email address. Um, because this is acting on the phone number field, we can choose that it only acts on the type of email address, not on phone number as well. Again, we've chosen a rule that already exists, and we've chosen our error message and background colour, so it will stand out. And finally, we've, we've got here a gift rule. Um, now, the rules for dates and numerical fields work slightly differently. So with this rule, we're saying the gift date should not be more than 100 days after the gift was created. So we're choosing a date which is less than plus 100 days from creation. And you've got various options there as well. OK. So once you're happy with those, click OK. And then let's have a look at our changes from today. So we can see that we've got um, a new record that's been added here. So let's just double check that that applies uh, with our, our rules on data entry. So we just click the Apply Standards Audit button. And we can immediately see that we've got this error here highlighted in pink with our error message because the surname has been entered with a lowercase first letter. If you right click on the record, once again, you can go to that record and make that correction. If we scroll down, we can see that we've also got an invalid email address here. And having a look at it, we can see that a web address has been entered rather than the email. So we can go to that and correct that there as well. And if we scroll down some more, we can see that we've got a gift date here that doesn't conform to our rule. If we right click on that, we can go directly to that record or we can go directly to the gift if we want to make the correction there as well. So that really helps us to make sure that people are editing and adding data in the way that we've specified for our business processes. Whilst we recommend you regularly browse all your changes to get a feel for how data is being added and changed in your Razor's Edge, there's always going to be areas you want to focus on. So we've created field profiles, meaning you can create groups of critical fields to review cutting out the noise of those that aren't so important to your work. You can set up any number of different field profiles and separate out different groups for different users. So let's take a look at how to set those up as well. Once again, if we click on the logo up here, click on Advanced, and now we're going to set up our field profiles. As you can see, I've already selected a few, so I'll go through and explain how those work. Our first one is a biographical data profile. Once again, you can give it a name and a description, and you've got all your fields here to choose from. Now, I've chosen to take fields from the constituent tab. So I'm specifically looking at how that biographical data has been entered. I'm just looking at address, birth date, first name and gender. For something a little more advanced, I've got an event volunteers field profile here. 
if I've got an event coming up and I want to see how volunteers are being assigned to that, I can choose to view both the volunteer type, all the fields in the volunteer type um, area, but also some specific fields from the volunteer assignment. So I want to know the job name that, they're, um, that they've got and the volunteer name as well. So I can make sure that that data has been entered correctly. And then you can set up any number of other field profiles that you want. We've got an actions one here, but you can cover any of the areas that are important to you. So once you're happy with that, click close and OK. And we've got the option of looking at the record areas, but even that's still going to give us a large number of fields. So first of all, we're going to look at our biographical data field and we're going to search. And that gives us a much more manageable number of fields so we can really concentrate on those areas that are important. We can still apply our standards audit here so we can see if there are any errors within that field profile. But it just makes it much easier to take a look at those specific fields. Again, if we take a look at our actions profile here. Then we can see we've only got a really limited number of fields here. We've got action date, action status and action type. So I can tell immediately from those if there's any errors in the entry. We're always making changes to Audit Trail Professional to make it easier than ever to face and to make sure that your data is as clean as it possibly can be. Don't forget to take a look at our other screencasts about Audit Trail Professional and for more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Our website is www.ziebman.info. Thanks for listening.